Hi guys. Well, it is starting to feel like winter time here in the uh, in the collapse of global industrial civilization here. On it is a chilly Monday night, November first, twenty twenty one, and of course we all know what that means. That we have COP twenty six in full swing uh, tonight in Glasgow, Scotland, but uh, here on November 1st, 2021. And, uh, you know, I cannot believe it. it. We have never really had an interview with the number one Doomer dog on the planet. So we're going to bring Sancho Panza, the little dog, Sancho Panza, on to uh, Collapse Chronicles. And we're going to get some quotes from Sancho Panza about COP21. Uh, I notice here in the mainstream media, there's several versions of everything you need to know about COP26. Did I just call it COP21? So Sancho Panza, little dog. What we need to know is everything we need to know about COP26. Would you please let us know everything we need to know about COP26? Is that everything we need to know? I think that's everything we need to know. Okay, since uh, we we really appreciate those comments, but little dog, what we also need to find out is I want to get we're going to get Sancho Ponza's comments on some other comments. Uh, we're going to hear from some world leaders, some world leaders out to save the planet. So Sancho, I want you to comment. I'm going to read the comment from world leaders, and then you are going to let, give us a comment about the comment. We're going to start with, uh, let's start with world leader Boris Johnson. We're going to start with world leader BJ. Okay. Now listen to this, Sancho. The people who will judge us are children not yet born, and their children. And we are now coming center stage before a vast and uncountable audience of posterity, and we must not fluff our lines or miss our cue, because if we fail, they will not forgive us. What do you think about BJ? BJ was talking about the doomsday device. Do you think, do you agree with BJ that, uh, we're sitting on the doomsday device. Okay. Next comment. This is from that uh, Doomer UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. I'm going to read this comment and you're going to respond to it. <clears throat> Our addiction to fossil fuels is pushing humanity to the brink. We face a stark choice. Either we stop it, or it stops us. It is time to say, enough. Enough of treating nature like a toilet. Enough of burning and drilling and mining our way deeper. We are digging our own graves. Sancho Panza, do you think we should have had enough of treating nature like a toilet. Okay, we're going to go and listen to Kenyan. We're going to go to Sub-Saharan Africa now, little dog. You want to go to Sub-Saharan Africa like that? And we're going to talk to Kenyan climate activist Elizabeth Wahuti. The decisions you make here will determine whether children will have food and water. What is your comment to that? Do you think the decisions they make will determine whether children will have food and water? 
No, you don't think so? Is that a no? Is that a no? No. Well, you need to sit back down on your little tuffet. Sit back down on your little tuffet. Okay. All right. This is Barbados Prime Minister Mia Motley. Limiting global warming to one and a half degree Celsius is what we need to stay alive. Two degrees is a death sentence for the people of Antigua and Barbuda, for the people of the Maldives, for the people of Dominica and Fiji, for the people of Kenya and Mozambique, and yes, for the people of Samoa and Barbados. We do not want that dreaded death sentence, and we have come here today to say, try harder, try harder. What do you think? Is it a death sentence? A death sentence for the for Barbados. What is your comment about that? Okay, that would no comment would be complete without listening to Sir David Attenborough. I want your comment on this comment from Sir David Attenborough, Sancho Panza. Quote. We are, after all, the greatest problem solvers to have ever existed on Earth. Yes. If working apart, we are a force powerful enough to destabilize our planet, surely working together, we are powerful enough to save it. What do you think, Sancho Panza? Working together. Are we powerful enough to save the planet? Yes or no? What is your take on that? Is that your take? All right. I appreciate all of this uh, feedback, but obviously we cannot close without listening to Greta Thunberg! Greta Thunberg! All right, we're going to put Greta Thunberg next to Sancho Panza. This is a historic moment in the Doomosphere. We have Greta Thunberg next to Sancho Panza. This is what Greta Thunberg had to say about it. Uh, Sancho, I want to get your comment. Let's listen to Greta Thunberg talking about uh, saving the planet at COP26. What do you think, little dog? Does Greta Thunberg have it figured out? Greta Thunberg, are we are going to uh, listen to Greta Thunberg. What do you think? Do we have no more blah, blah, blah? Okay, I want you to sum it all up. You have the floor to sum up everything we need to know about COP26 saving the planet. This is your time to. Okay, Sancho Panza. Everything we need to know about COP26 saving the planet. Thank you, Sancho Banza, for those insightful comments about COP26. So now you have heard it right here on Collapse Chronicles, everything you need to know about COP26. Maybe we can think of something else to talk about tomorrow, like with the chippies. Is there a rat? Where's our rat? Is there a rat? What about a rat? Where's that rat? Is he under the kitchen sink or what? That rat. You know the rat I'm talking about, I think?
Bye, guys.